All right, last new part, not just of level one, but of this grid. Um, you really know how to do these, honestly. So let's just talk about the little tweaks on what makes these a little different than what we've done before. So we're going to do real world, real world unit rates. And so this first one says, Jeff hikes half a mile every 15 minutes. How, how far will Jeff have hiked after an hour? That's really important to pay attention to because that's going to determine how we set up this problem. So it's asking for half a mile every 15 minutes, and it says how far will we go in an hour. So to set this up, we want it to be uh, miles per and then our time. So you can leave it as um, 15 minutes. I'm sorry, my computer's going a little slow right now. There we go. You can leave it as minutes if you want. Um, because we can go from 15 minutes up to 60 minutes, which would be the same as an hour. You can do that if you want. However, if you want to think of it as hours, you're going to have to change your 15 minutes to what an hour would look like, which would be one-fourth of an hour. So either one of these is fine, whichever one you choose. Um, it won't always be that case, but in this case, either one of these is acceptable. So you decide which one makes, both sen makes most sense to you. Now, I'm going to use the fraction instead of a decimal. You can use a decimal, so you can say 0 0.5 miles, but I'm going to explain that um, sometimes you cannot change your fraction into a decimal. If you can do it, then fine, go for it. If not, then please don't, okay? So in this first one, really for both of them actually, we're going from... Uh, are either our 15 minutes, or we can think of it as one fourth of an hour, and we're scaling up to one hour. Okay, so to get from 15 to 60, we're doing times four. Same thing here. If I was doing one fourth to get to one, I would have to times by four, right, to get four fourths. But I want to point something out to you, especially with this fraction, it's going to be really important. Um, now you can do uh, one half times four and all that good stuff. But I want you to notice that if I look at this fraction one, we have discussed before that this line is a division, is really considered division. So when I say one half mile per one fourth hour, I could also think of it as one half divided by one fourth, which would mean that I would have to do keep, change, flip, and so one half would be times four. I'm sorry, it keeps jumping around. Um, so you have one half times 4 over 1, right? Because if I had the division, it would be 1 half divided by 1 fourth, and so I'd have to do keep, change, flip. So you can think of it that way, or you can um, use this one and think, well, to get from 15 to 60, I do times 4, so times 4 here. So when you do that, you multiply straight across, you get 4 over 2, which simplifies to 2 miles, which makes sense, right? I would have a half a mile plus another half mile, that gives me a whole mile, but I have to do two more of those to get four all together, right? So then you'd end up with two miles, okay? Let's try another one where you can see why we might want to use the fraction more than the decimal or a whole number. So let's look at this next problem. Um, so while remodeling her kitchen, Angela is repainting the walls. She estimates that she uses three gallons of paint to cover four-fifths of one wall. How much paint is needed for the entire wall? So she can almost get the whole wall with three gallons. She just couldn't quite. So we're going to figure out, okay, how much is she really going to need for an entire wall? Um, and we'll go from there. So when we start out, we want to set up our proportion. That is so, so important. So we're going to start off with three gallons per four-fifths of a wall. Now, I didn't do it because it was in that order. I did it because it said how much paint, so gallons of paint, for the entire wall. So they're asking it for that reason. So we want gallons per wall or how much paint for the wall. Um, so that's how I set it up and we're figuring out for an entire wall. Well this one's a lot harder for us to figure out to go from four-fifths to one. So again I'm going to focus more on this side and think of this as a division problem. So I'm thinking of this as three divided by four-fifths. That's really what that means. That's really what you've been doing on the other problems. We've just looked at it in a different way. But that's, <coughs> excuse me, that is what this means. So then it just becomes, <coughs> excuse me, a fraction divided by another fraction, which we've done before, way back when. So we have to do keep, change, flip, and we get 3 over 1 times 5 over 4. So then we multiply straight across, we get 15 over 4, and then we just have to change it to a mixed number. So 4 fits into 15 three times with 3 fourths left over. So 3 and 3 fourths gallons is how much you would need for the entire wall. 
Okay, so as you're doing these unit rate problems, I really want you to consider it as a division problem. I know sometimes you can use the proportion like we've been doing, but if you think of it as a division problem, which is kind of what we did over here as well, it's really going to help you, okay? So when you go to try these next two problems, since a lot of them have fractions, and again, pay attention to the time, right? Like this starts with 45 minutes, but it's asking for an hour, so you may want to write this as a fraction representing an hour rather than using the 45 minutes um, and then you know consider some of that over here too and you might need to change it to an improper fraction or something like that so treat it like a fraction division problem but you still have to set up the proportion please that is going to be so so important throughout this grid okay good luck if you have questions please feel free to ask but make sure when you get done with these problems you get a teacher signature before moving on to the level informative good luck you can do it